Hello, Von Lukosh here, and welcome to the second video in Planet Zoo already. Yes, we are actually making an exhibit today. <laughs> because in the last episode, we only did the entrance building and some foliage. Um, well, a lot of foliage. And come to think of it, that's actually all we're doing in this episode as well. Um, but this time we also put down a fence and uh, do some terraining for the warthog exhibit we are building. Because yes, we are building a warthog exhibit. I took a look at the animal market to see what the cheap animals are. Because as you can see, we are very tight on money. And at the end of this video, we're <laughs> a whole lot tighter on money. And it's uh, only going to get worse for a while. But uh, who cares? We're going to... Uh, We'll take out a loan, it will be fine. Um, but yeah, it turns out the cheap animals are mostly peafowls, uh, ostriches and these warthogs. And in my previous franchise zoos, which I have not recorded sadly, I had peafowls and ostriches, but they're both uh, kinda buggy. The peafowls uh, wants like 250 square meters for their exhibit, which is just downright insane. And I had a 8x8 uh, <laughs> eight eight meter aviary for them, which is a pretty sizable aviary to be fair. But it just couldn't even move in there, so yeah, it died. And uh, three new ones I put in there died as well. <laughs> um, and the ostriches did fine in a uh, way bigger exhibit. Um, but then they had babies and those escaped and people were freaking out because baby ostriches are apparently the most dangerous animal on the earth. So that didn't work either. So I figured let's go for warthogs. Those should be fine, right? Um, yeah, uh, we'll talk about that a bit later. But right here you can see me doing what I love most about Planet Zoo. And just what I like. It's what I like in Zootacoon 2 as well, but it just wasn't really possible in Zootacoon 2. Just making these buildings from the ground up. Um, and really making the foundations of them to really feel like it would be a real life building and have it function to feel like yeah this this is legit <laughs> this would not collapse on itself and i kind of feel this does that which is great um yeah it's just made out of logs how cool is that and if it was in like a lima or a mandrill exhibit they would actually climb on top of it isn't that neat we're totally gonna have to play with that once we get one of those two um but for the time being i just wanted to have a cheap, easy animal, and I felt like doing warthogs because my warthog exhibit in Tutu Two is still one of the ones I like the most, and I think other people like the most as well. So, yeah, I was like, sure, let's do one in Planet Zoo as well, and it's kind of the same. It feels the same because the building has the exact same colors as that one, only this one. Uh, I like this one more. It's a bit more realistic. The one in Tutu Two was cool, um, but this one is a lot more realistic. I could see this in a real zoo. Um, yeah, it's made out of plaster and logs. <laughs> that's just that's just great to me. I don't like using the generic pieces. I've already grown tired of some of them. Um, but this stuff made by myself is just great. And not to be all egocentric about myself, but just stuff made by people themselves is great. Stuff made out of tiny pieces. It's also a lot more lifelike because it's not as clean. I see normal pieces, um, but that's also because I like offsetting stuff and slightly rotating stuff. And it probably just isn't that special, but I just really like it because it's different from the stuff I've been doing for years to the two. So I just really like this very organic feel of things. They're very not tidy and not clean and very not new stuff. I really love that. It looks great. It feels very lifelike. And the same for the rocks and the foliage and everything, just having everything so chaotic and organic and natural is just great. I really like that. Um, yeah, I figured we'd go for a natural border again and just fill in the gaps uh, with the rocks and these fences made out of logs because I think that looks cool. Uh, and I thought it would be fine. I figured there might be some adjustment to the rocks I need to make because they will walk over the rocks and stuff. But I was kind of hoping they just wouldn't, or yeah, that they'd be high enough. <laughs> but uh, it turns out that was not the case. The warthogs, as you will see in the end, just jumped straight over the fence. 
and then I put a barrier in front of the fence and they jumped straight over the barrier um, like just a straight on three meter high leap over the fence so yeah you're not seeing the finished exhibit in this ex in this episode in the next episode we'll probably fix this exhibit a bunch and uh, painfully put a fence around it because um, I put a lot of thought and a lot of tinkering into the foliage surrounding the exhibit to make sure uh, it fills in all of the gaps and it feels really uh, cool and has a lot of depth and just fits the enclosure and kind of finishes the picture, the painting, if you will. Um, if that doesn't sound too pretentious. Um, but yeah, I love the way the light falls into the foliage and stuff. I just the way the foliage looks, it's just great. Um, but yeah, sadly, it will have to change because I really like how we can see the trunks and stuff in uh, Plant Zoo as opposed to just seeing the um, the, 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 the leaves in Zootacan 2, which we were used to. But here we can really see the, the branches and the trunks and stuff and it's great. It looks very real and it feels very real and natural and I like that. Uh, but the game doesn't like it apparently because you need to have these fences which are just three meters high for the animals to not climb out of it which is just dumb to me especially because i thought warthogs couldn't jump or at least not jump high because i i believe in zoos here in the netherlands like beekseberg and burger zoo and Awans dierenpark they all have warthog exhibits with very low fences i thought but apparently not um yeah um, it could be a bug, I hope it's a bug, but it could also be it intended, and then I hope that I'm just wrong and that Warthogs do jump that high, and that I will have to swallow my pride and change the exhibit. Please do tell me, and please do tell me if you have any ideas to change the fencing other than just putting a huge fence around it, because I, I don't want to do that. that. That would ruin the entire exhibit. Um, but it's something I'll have to think about for future exhibits to um, not try to be cute with the natural borders because I tried that in a previous franchise zoo as well with my uh, Galapagos giant tortoises and those climbed out as well. Turns out those can climb over steep rocks. So yeah, I'm really hoping those are bugs and the game allows us to make natural borders and stuff. But I'm afraid it won't allow us to do so. I'm afraid Frontier wants um, just makes the animals jump over these fences to, uh, yeah, not have to tinker with the uh, animation for breaking the fence and stuff, which is totally fair. But it's just dumb to see these warthogs leap three meters into the air over a fence. And that just seems a shame to me. Um, but yeah, you see me build this barrier over here which I thought is it's okay I'd rather not have had it but to be fair having just a chain link fence uh, between the guests and the warthogs would not be the safest thing ever I guess because warthogs do bite and stuff and they're not the friendliest animal ever I think so it's probably for the best that we have a barrier but if it worked that would be <laughs> even better <laughs> but yes thanks for watching everyone I hope you like the exhibit nonetheless and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.